My name's Jacob Hudson. I'm a singer-songwriter and audio producer at a recording studio in Jacksonville. I originally started recording myself, trying to record personal songs when I, when I was 15 years old, trying to make sense of how I was feeling. And I was terrible at it, and I kept doing it until I got to the point where people enjoyed my work and wanted me to do their own demos. Um, I think creativity is really about identity. I think creativity is a lot of different things, but I think one really main vital aspect of creativity is identity, either the identity of an individual or the identity of a group of people. Yeah, my name's Eric Dawkins. Um, I'm a musician, guitarist, singer. I play some other instruments, keys, um, but guitar is my main instrument. Creativity is is a feeling for me. It's like something, you know, when I'm being creative, I know I'm being creative. It's a, like, okay, like, this is where I am. This is what I'm trying to do. You can explain it in a hundred different ways, but I guess, you know, it, it's different from person to person. My name is Christian Jose Morrison. I play drums in a band called Marathon Runner. I also play drums in a band for Jacob Hudson. A creative was first thought to be a divine spirit that would enter the body or live in the artist's studio. And we kind of see this in all the great riverbed civilizations. Um, the creating was kind of left to these people who were touched by divinity. And what it meant for the rest of humanity was creativity wasn't within their grasps. It was something that they had to uh, wish for, um, not something they had all along. So I feel within the creative world, I feel like maybe creativity is exclusive to certain people. Um, I don't feel like everyone is a creative. Right, so my name is Sean Burns and I'm a videographer, a filmmaker at Celebration Church. You know, I could be just, somebody can feel creative in a totally different way than me. But for me, creative, cre being creative is a feeling. That's what being creative means to me. I absolutely think it's important for everybody to have a creative outlet, even if they don't think they're creative or if they're not good at that creative outlet. I think it's incredibly crucial to being a productive member of society. Because even in some fields that aren't often depicted as being creative, such as like engineering or science, they're just as creative as music or painting or sculptures, in my opinion. And I think that that's a really vital part of creativity that's sometimes lost, is that creativity becomes about what's popular or what somebody else has done. Um, or how can I do something that's not gonna fail? But I think the ability to fail within something is also a vital part of creativity. There's something about framing a picture or capturing a moment that's more inspiring. And I think that comes with someone who maybe has that understanding or it's something that like dwells inside of them. You can use creative creativity with anything. Like you can use it in normal person life. You don't have to be a musician. You don't have to be a photographer. Or do cinema. You can you can use it in everyday life. There's not just one way to you know fold your clothes. There's not just one way to do everything. You got to look outside the box and be like, okay, maybe I like doing it this way. Maybe I want to do it this way. Every, every song that's recorded is just a little bit of a puzzle piece for like how we feel. And it, you feel like sometimes the same puzzle piece is used in the same spot over and over again. And so to break from using the same sounds and using the same sort of audio techniques to venture out into something that might not be quite as common. A lot of what I'm inspired by too is film scores. There's definitely 
a way that those composers or artists um, use different sounds to create a feeling. Um, so for example, like a horror movie, you know, they use a certain kind of sound. And it sort of sets up something in a way that doesn't involve words and doesn't involve spelling it out. For me, creativity is a feeling that I get when I'm doing anything like that involves me to think of a different way of, of doing something. Trying to put that first point on the page is so much harder than reorganizing a page full of colors, I'd say. And that's the beauty of recording is that you have the option to fix stuff later, but when you're sitting down with a guitar by yourself, waiting to use any of the chords that have been developed, any of the tones, any of the sounds, it can be overwhelming to decide what you want to start with and how you want to communicate. And it's really just about figuring out who you are as a person and figuring out what your views are, the way that you see the world. I think there's, I think that's what kept me from being creative for a long time, was I didn't have, I hadn't figured out who I was as a person. And that was the big writer's block in my head. I'm sure that like you could research someone playing music or painting um, it doesn't start off with someone painting or playing a masterpiece. Um, it's a skill that you have to practice. Um, you have to understand what you're doing, and then in that, you can build that skill. So I feel like with creativity, it's kind of the same thing. Like You can continually be building yourself. Some people are being creative without even knowing it. Like, they're just... Somebody who is studying for a test, you gotta find a way to study. Like it's it's not, yeah. There you can look up like different practices and different things, but it's whatever works for you. And I guess that's like that own person's way of being creative in studying. But for me, having a creative outlet in music and having that combination of the audible representation of somebody's voice or the instruments they choose mixed with that lyricism can help me to better understand what I'm feeling. Anybody could do it, but everybody has their own way of being creative. That's really all I can like say of what being creative is, because I can only say how it, it is for me. At the core, I just feel like it's who I am as an individual, like it just kind of like it comes naturally to me, it comes out of me. I might hear a song from somebody and know oh, that's how I'm feeling right now. That song's making me feel the same way. And now I feel a little bit more connected with somebody. So I think it just brings community in. Even when it seems very individualistic to create something on your own, I think it helps to create community. That we see that being creative is something within ourselves, something intangible and so uniquely human that it can literally be embraced by anybody who's willing to pick up a brush or a chisel or a video camera. Yes, I believe you can be creative with anything you do, no matter what it is. It, it doesn't just pertain to just artists or musicians or anything.